Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Today we have the final linking video. So we're gonna be linking soil, alright? So soil stands for something something library and two that means it's an upgrade. But if you're smart, which I'm not, you have to read this right here. So it stands for simple OpenGL image library which I seem to have missed, but yes, so what it does is uh, you load in images into a format which you can use to create textures in OpenGL. All right, so when you create textures in OpenGL, we do that to not have blank squares and triangles, but we want some kind of a image plastered onto all our objects and our beautiful models, right? So that's why we have textures, and uh, to have textures, you need to load them from some kind of jpg file or png file or whatever so that's what this helps us do there's no internal uh, original way for OpenGL to do that so it's not too hard to make your own image loader but why not just use this there's another one stb image but we're going to be using soil too now what you want to do is you want to go into downloads and you just want to download repository and i already did that because i'm cool all right so first you want to do that then you want to go into uh pre-make Okay, just Google Premake, download version 4.4 beta, and download the one for Windows or whatever uh, thing you're on, whatever platform you're on, right? So just go ahead and download that. I already did it. Uh, download them to desktop, I'd say. Is a little, I'll go through it a little quickly if you don't download it to desktop, but uh, whatever, try to do that. Um, if you do not, what will happen, I have a little cheat sheet here as well, all right? I have a cheat sheet. I have my... Uh, project open so what you want to do is you want to open CMD let's check our cheat sheet so we downloaded soil we downloaded premake let's copy paste premake exe into soil to where premake lua is so what you want to do first you open your Spartan J soil folder all right and you just copy this onto wherever you want desktop in my case I already did that next step will be to go into premake the raw file and just drag this premake4.exe to the Spartan J folder. I already did that too, so I just copied it in here. Um, and what happens then is we will be able to build it. Now that's the problem with Sol, you have to build it. You can't just download already pre-built libraries and stuff, but we'll try to build it. So let's use our cheat sheet. Let me see if I'm recording first of all. Yes, I am. Uh, let's do that. Um, let's go to cheat sheet. Let's make sure we open command prompt like pros. All right, because we're going to do some cool stuff. Now, I want to actually zoom in here. Uh, let's see, scroll find. Um, let me just go into properties so I can show you guys what's going on. So, font, let's let me make it 28 or 24. Okay, so you guys can see what's going on. All right, uh, so I'm on desktop. That's where you usually will get or come to whenever you. Now I've tried some stuff here before I I started because uh, I suck. So let's just ignore that. All right, let's just do clear. Okay, I don't know what that is, but okay, whatever. CLR, I think. Okay, no, never mind. Um, never mind. You'll be here. So what you want to do is, if you have your stuff on desktop, there's no biggie. It's no big deal. All right, but if you're on downloads or something, now the, the thing we want to do is if you have your Spartan J thingy on the desktop, just drag it over here and just, wait, don't do that. Uh, excuse me. What you want to use is a CD command, the change directory command, space, and then you want to drag this link thing here and just do that. And then you'll be in that folder, right? And everything in this folder is accessible to us from this command prompt. Now, if you're in D, what you want to do is first you have to change your directory to D. So you just do D colon, and then you're in D. Then you have to kind of CD your way to that path or just drag it a folder from D into there. So what I can do is if I have my D, D drive open, um, I'm in D. I might want to just drag this games folder here, and then, um, let me see, the oh, CD, excuse me, CD, and I'll just drag games here and then I'll be in games all right so that's the way you want to do it but you have to be in the correct folder uh, or correct drive in order to drag and drop these long paths right so that's what you want to do 
Uh, let me just go back to C. And I am in that. Wait, C? C, please? Alright, so now I'm in C again. In my Spartan J, because I was there before I left. So I'm still there. And then what we want to do is we want to write or type in pre make 4.exe and vs 2012. Now you're like, hmm, why 2012? Because. Why not the latest version? Because uh, you have Visual Studio 2017, whatever. Um, it won't really matter. This is the latest version that Spartan J or Spartan Soil, whatever, uh, supports. So we're just going to build it for that. Just press enter. And then bam, boom. You open your folder again and you'll have a new folder called Make Window. And then you have your Soil 2 uh, or Solution folder. So just open that. And after you have your little solution folder here, uh, you just press OK, upgrade. Doesn't really matter. Or yes, it does matter. Just press OK there. And then what we're going to be interested in is our soil to static lib. Now let me just go to my cheat sheet. So what we're done with is all this. Enter, go to make folder, soil to solution, open soil to upgrade, OK. This is the one we're interested in. Build this for debug and release. So we're just going to go in here. We're going to press debug, win32, and we're going to build it. And after it's built, uh, it should be built. Wait, wait, build, build, build it, built it, and then change this to release. And we're just going to do build again, uh, build, done building, done building. Obviously, you can't run it, but we built it. So uh, I'm just going to rebuild that once, the debug one, just rebuild it once. Uh, there we go. Okay, so it succeeded. Now you just go ahead and close this down. Uh, go into my cheat sheet, copy the .lib files and paste them in the actual project folder and folder. Okay, so I'm going to make a new folder here called soil2. Soil2. Okay, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to write a, or I'm going to create a include folder. And I'm going to create a lib folder, lib folder and an include folder. So the I is going to be small for me. There we go. Now the source files into the include and whatever, whatever. So I'm going to go into the lib files folders here and go ahead and open this thingy again. Now I have a lib and I have a source, right? So lib windows and have the debug and have the soil to lib for the regular one so i'm just going to copy the these two are actually the ones i should copy i'm just going to copy all of this in case or no i should actually all i have to copy is this but i'll be safe because i suck and i don't know what i'm doing but okay i'm just going to copy that there oh yeah you don't have to copy you don't need those anymore anyway the source folder soil 2 and all of these source thingies we need to put into our include folder, right? So just take these, put them into your include, and that's good. So that's perfect. Uh, all of this other stuff is whatever. Um, boom. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and in case of problems, I'm just going to go and check out the project linking soil2 and the include folder. It includes all this lib folder all right those, those are the only two ones that are required so just so you guys don't have a bunch of extra stuff in your folders remove those two so you have soul 2 and soul 2 debug and all the include folders is they're correctly implemented right there they're correctly copied so everything's copied everything's fine we should be good close down the cheat sheet close down this you won't need this anymore and close down this and the command prompt as well. So, next step. Next step. Or let me just go in here. Let me just check one thing. Bin. Bin. Okay, we're fine. Lib make object. Make object. There we go. All right, we're good. We're good. Close those down. Take your soil to thingy. Go into your YouTube tutorial, whatever you call it, and just copy that in there. Boom, you have soil two. So now we're gonna be linking this and just right click on your um, project again. Mm, go into C++ general, like you did before, all configurations, Win32, edit. Now we're gonna make a new one, the final one. And go to 
the tutorial linking soil 2 and then include select folder and remember what we did right we just did this and solution there so solution directory I'm just gonna copy that because we're gonna be reusing it and then OK and apply linker now we don't have to add anything to input uh, whoops it did what did I just do wait cancel I just did something really dumb uh, let me just see all right that's all we need C++ okay it's still there good uh, linker general and your additional include libraries now here um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add linking soul to lib the whole folder and then do this and say OK, apply. Where is GLFW? Wait, it's not there? Wait, cancel. Sorry about that, guys and girls. I'm pretty dumb right now. Wait, general. OK. General. So I'm going to have to do GLFW again, I think. GLM. OK, all right. You know what? Let's just do that again then. Uh, sorry about that glfw lib select folder and just do this apply there we go now an in input I'm gonna go ahead and press debug edit and what I'm gonna add here is are these two that I copied over so I'm going to my soil lib so soil to lib soil to debug dot lib uh, this is debug, so soil to debug.lib. Okay, go ahead and apply that and then release. Edit soil to dot lib. Uh, all right, and that's for release. So then we're good. We're good. We just included everything that we need in order to code in here. Now, uh, like I said in the last video, you have to create a window before you actually go ahead and initialize uh, glue. But that's cool. I'm just gonna, whoops, I'm gonna try to include soil here. Include soil 2.h, and then we should be able to use the soil, soil load image. And then we'll be able to load images. All right, so should be good. Cool. We found all those. Everything's fine. All the library, everything is linked. If there are any errors, I'll correct them, and we will see. But it should be fine. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys and girls, as always. And in the next coming videos, we'll start to code a little bit, and we'll see how that goes. But until then, just go ahead and read the learnopengl.com if you want. Watch some other videos. And yeah, keep learning, all right? Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.